welcome to episode 25 of LearnerBurn.Tech, where in five minutes or less we promise you will learn something useful to master your technology. Pictures! We all have thousands of them and we still have our favorites. And to make them even more special, we need sometimes to have a little artistic touch. Now, there's an age-old trick that artists from generations past used to spend days and days on. And when photo editing came to the computer, we brought that task down to mere hours. And now, you can experience this cool effect in less than a minute. To be clear, this isn't an Instagram-ish filter that applies to the photo as a whole. What we want to do is apply the filter to most of the photo except for one color. That is precisely what draws the subtle attention to the subject that is chosen by you, the editor and master of your own photos. What I'm going to show you though isn't the only way to do it, but I've done it with tons of other tools and tricks and I'll share my favorite one with you. Now I'm on a Mac and in the App Store you'll find an app called Pixelmator. It's not free, but it's what many amateurs like me use who wouldn't know where to even start with Photoshop. But this one passes the mom test or the dad test in my case. All right, let's begin. It's the 4th of July today, which means we just had Canada Day three days ago. My favorite photo we took was one of our Canadian-born sons with characters from a Canadian show called Paw Patrol, and we just wanted to have the red stand out, nothing else. So in this case, we used the color selection tool. This works well whenever you have pretty good contrast separation between the object you wish to colorize here and the other items around it. Now we're just selecting all the red of the photo and it often helps to zoom in a little so the precision or lack thereof is more obvious and you can easily uh, correct it too. This is where click and drag is your friend as well by holding the shift key. That way you can select a number of areas and they are all accumulated as you can see. When you're finally done and you have the whole area selected of what you want to keep by way of a color, we now want to do a selection inversion or invert the selection. In other words, we want to select everything else except the object we just selected. Now we've done that, we apply the grayscale filter to the inverted selection and bingo. That's it. Now the first time you do this, you'll spend maybe five minutes. But after that, you'll spend less than a minute for a typical photo to colorize a single object. I won't not deny that red is my least favorite color. One final note, there are other iOS and Android apps that do this specific feature just as well. If you like to do a variety of different edits though, then each is often a separate app. And some prefer that, while others prefer to have one desktop tool that is more of a Swiss army knife. Plus, your digital SLR photos aren't usually on your mobile device. They are on your desktop. Enjoy making your photos special and see you again next week.